Hey guys, it's Joe again from Average Joe Locksport. This is a continuation of my previous video where I was just showing you some of my tubular locks and lock picks. Alright, what we're getting into here, this is... my multi-pick Kronos. And as you can see, here is the battery. Battery charger. Cord for the charger. Some extra needles and the average I'm sorry not average and the tool itself the Kronos I've used it a couple of times haven't really used it as my go-to tool or anything like that but when I have used it, it has been pretty good. Sorry about the shaky camera. But anyway, there is my Kronos. All the way from Multipick. And we're going to go ahead and pack it all up. I'm kind of fussy when it comes to my stuff going back in where it's supposed to be. So that is my multi-pick Kronos. Nothing really to show you, just a blank box when it's in there. But, oh, sorry, bumped the camera again. But there it is, multi-pick Kronos. Just so you can read some of the specs on the back if you want. Some of the stuff on the front of the box or back of the box. Well, anyway, there's my multi-pick Kronos. I don't know if you're familiar with the A1 quick set doorknob remover basically what this does this will let you pull the doorknob off get to the back actuator just put your screwdriver in there and open it up if you do it proper there is no damage as you can see the key fits right in hooks onto the tumbler tumblers put this piece on now this piece is on the doorknob itself and then you just go to winding about a half crank at a time and it'll pull your doorknob off if you do it proper no damage get yourself in snap the door lock back on and boom you're ready to go that's called the A1 quick set doorknob remover. As far as specialty tools, this is a weird looking one. What this is, this is the bypass for any quick set 
smart key as you can see all the little twists and turns there's the little set screw key pull that out slide this in boom bypass everything you need to bypass uh, there are ones out there without the set key but if you run into that there is a second part of this that comes with the little drill and drill bit to drill out what you need again this just goes in no damage to the quick set smart key and there you go you just bypassed it I already went over the tubular South Ford pick for my American lock and as you can see comes with the whole tool itself everybody knows loosen this up put it on a flat surface flatten out all the pins and off you go and then when you're done there's your gauge you can make yourself a key little allen wrench to do what you need to do so that's my south Ford tubular lock pick and the same thing with the huck pick basically about the same thing might work just a tiny bit different but these are the three different sizes as you can see nice and shiny lock them up calibrate them all the same way down on a flat surface so that is my Huck tubular lock pick set. Again, Huck. Here what we have is the TSA luggage locks. If I'm not mistaken, this is a full set as you can see they're marked right on down to the safe skies it tells you which one they are it's even got a master key anyway these are supposed to take care of all the TSA locks Okay, back to the American locks. The old American locks, you could reach right in with the little bypass tool, do what you need to do. Well, then they came up with just putting that little washer wafer on the end of it. This is what we call the wafer breaker. Slide it in. You do your tap, 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 take it out, flip it over, tap, tap, tap. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me start over. My mistake. Start with the little one first. Reach in there, tap, tap, tap. Then back and forth a little bit. Flip it over. Tap it back in and again a little bit left to right. Then you put the key one in. Obviously, the way the key goes in, it enlarges the hole which at that point will let you in with the bypass tool to get through the hole that you just punctured in the wafer on the American lock. So this is what you call the American three-piece wafer breaker kit ok 
Okay, this is my Peterson plug spinner. You get to a lock. For some reason, you got the doorknob in the way or you can't pick it the way you need to pick it. What you have in here is very simple. Just take it, you give it a turn with whatever extension you have on there and actually there is even an extension to put on that as you can see goes over the key now you can put that the key in there quick turn if you did have to pick it the opposite way for some reason there you go so that is your Peterson plug spinner so there's my Peterson plug spinner again if you happen to pick a lock and how to pick it left or right this will get you back to where you need to go my next specialty tool this was called the cap popper and what this is for this is for any quick set that you have that you need to get in basically what this does insert the key in and then this piece here slides in goes to the first tumbler then as you're in there you give it a couple taps it will pop out the top part that holds all the key and the pins in together and then all you do take this pick right here rake out the pins and the doorknob uh, and then the quick set opens and let me see if I can find a quick set here hold on for a second okay Here's your quick set. So what you have here is your quick set. Slide the key in. Then you take your cap popper tool. Slide it in there. Follow the key through the first holder. And what that does, that pushes in, and this piece right here, this little piece, it pops that piece off. Then you take the rake, rake it out, pop all the pins out, and your door is open. And same thing on the deadbolt, it works exactly the same way. Again, put the key in, slide this in, follow the key, and there you go. Tap that a couple times. This piece right here pops up, poof, all the pins come out, and you're in. And again, I'll try to give you a close-up how it goes in. There you go. It goes in, pops up through the first pinhole, and then you just push it, 
pops off and you're in. So that is called the cap popper. And if I'm not mistaken, I bought this from lockpicks.com where I bought most of my specialty tools from. What else we have here as far as specialty? Here we have shims. And as you can see, I try to buy the halfway decent ones, the ones that won't cut your fingers to shreds. So here's my padlock shims, when and if you want to shim a padlock. Next thing we have is our digital caliper here. As you can see, there's the two batteries. The caliper itself. Haven't used this yet but do have it if needed so there's my digital caliper go ahead and slide her back in the box put the batteries back in and close her up okay I would say as far as specialty tools, other than, again, Adam's right hand tool, Abus bypass driver, flag for whatever you need, no I'm sorry, yes, flag for whatever you need, and the master lock bypass. So that's it for bypass and drivers and specialty tools. Um, give me a couple of minutes. And I should be back with some more stuff. Thank you. If you like what you see, please subscribe and or give me a like. Bye for now. Part 2 next video we'll finish up on this one